is January the 7th, which means that my last day at Starbucks is in two days, and my birthday is in three days, and my move-in day is in four days. I am so excited to be closing one chapter and opening another. Um, I'm not really sure how am I going to adjust living in a town where I know nobody, because I don't know anybody at SFA, um, or so that I know of. Like, probably some people that I went to high school would go there, but nobody who I'm still in contact with. Um, obviously, none of my friends. They're all still here in Houston. So, um, that's that. Uh, what I'm most excited about is my last day at Starbucks. Just closing, just saying bye to my friends, because I really do, really, really love my friends at Starbucks. Uh, they're technically my only friends right now because I don't socialize outside of work, so I usually just go to work and I come home. Um, then after that, the 10th, which is my 23rd birthday, I am just so blessed to be turning 23 and being in this mindset where I am now, I'm just humble, like really, uh, I can't wait for my birthday. So here's what I want to do. I know I want to go eat. We're probably going to eat twice that day. Probably go get some brunch with my friend Lindsay because Lindsay has to work. So she can't go watch the scary movie with us don't really remember what the name of the scary movie is but it's coming out on the 10th and Christian Stewart's in it and it's about being underwater if you don't know me I'm scared of water I personally would never be in water that's more than you know my waist but I'm gonna go check that out simply because it comes on my birthday so obviously it's meant to be and I love watching scary movies on my birthday I've watched the bye-bye man on my birthday and a few other movies I know I watched Taken three on my birthday um what is that uh proud mary i've watched that on a on a birthday um just movies that typically come on my birthday like that's my tradition for me that whatever movie is coming out that day i go watch it and the bye bye man was really good that one came out on my birthday a few years ago i believe in 2017 and that movie was scary a lot of people said they didn't like it but i liked it i liked the concept to me i thought it was scary when i came home I wouldn't even say the bye bye man. I would, no, their slogan was don't say it, don't de think it. I wouldn't even say that. I was terrified. taking videos. Hey y'all, so it is January the 11th, a day after my 23rd birthday. I'm gonna insert some clips, but today is moving day and my aunt, she went to go pick up our rental car. And then a family friend is going to drive me to NAC. Ignore my bacon, but I'm so excited. I'm just like, getting all my little stuff together and I'm not ready <laughs> and I said I wanted to leave at 11 it's currently like 11 52 I mean 10 52 I'm not ready but it's a good thing the guy isn't here so it's all good but not only that I got one earring in <laughs> last night y'all I went to go watch underwater and it was starring Christian Stewart amazing brilliant beautiful i for one like horror movies and i tend to not get scared 
but I was terrified. Maybe it's because I'm afraid of the ocean that that's what really had me scared. And the unknown is what really, you know, had me shook it. But I was covering my eyes and everything. And we went to Chili's, me and Shasta. We had a Samarg. Uh, they sang me happy birthday. Shout out to Chili's, period. <laughs> and I didn't really want to do anything big for my birthday because I knew I had to, you know, do all of this stuff tomorrow, um, tomorrow which is today. It is so cold. I was really terrified about the tornado thing, but it didn't hit my side of town, so we all good. But yes, I am waiting for my aunt to get back with the rental car, and I am also waiting for the driver to get here, but I'm also still last minute packing, figuring out what I want to take and what I don't want to take. I have an idea, but get into these brows, y'all. Oh, get into my nails. Shout out to Jada. I met Jada while I was working at the YMCA and she really look at look at the detail of my nails. I found this pat this design on Pinterest and I showed it to Jada. I was like, Jada, can you do this for me? It's my birthday. Woo -doo -woo. And she delivered. These nails took she started at 1230. We did not finish until three o'clock. So that's how long they took. And look at how long they are. I've never had nails this long, but period. <laughs> Anyways, I need to get off this uh, video and go finish packing my stuff and, you know, last minute whoop de woo So, let me tell y'all something. I haven't went and bought the cleaning stuff for the dorm. So, I'm going to see if the Leonard will take me. Or, I'm going to see if we got something here. Because, you know, if I ain't got to spend the money then. Because, you know, Vic, Vic did some lavish things with her money yesterday because it was her birthday. Treat yourself. If ain't nobody gonna treat you, treat yourself. If ain't nobody gonna love you, love yourself. Like, yeah. But anyways, y'all, so that is it for this vlog right now. I will be back when we get to rent a car and we're on our way heading out. Oh, necklace all turned. Okay, there we go. Okay, y'all, so still one earring. <laughs> Let me take this off. Um my rental car is here and my aunt is back there talking with the guy who's going to drive me the family friend um everything is packed in i got a lot of stuff that's kind of tough and i have no idea how i'm going to be moving with these things and i still gotta stop by the stove so we will see we will see i'm gonna ask Leonard if he could take me to family dollar to pick up my cleaning supplies and my uncle's passing by. Waiting at my uncle. Um, so yeah, so we are getting ready to wrap this up. I need to take. I can't take it off my earring while holding my phone. And then we will be on our way. So that's it. I'm leaving you soon. So excited. So I will be back. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I'm doing, 
I basically sprayed the bed down with this because you don't know who been laying here before you and it smells like coconut so that's a plus and I'm just using these little cheap disinfectant wipes because if I already got my Clorox what I gotta you know so I basically I'm wiping it down you see so it's going to be damp but it don't matter because I'm not laying on this I have a plastic cover to go over this part so let's see so now it's supposed to be clean right look at that that is why you clean your room yourself I don't know if you can tell this thing is dirty and I'm pretty sure they do a thorough job when they clean but there ain't nothing wrong with doing it yourself because you know this way you got a light period so and once again let me put it up under the light on my bag of chips that's dirty y'all that's dirty you know my hair that's dirty okay so now that we did that this is my roommate side of the room but she not here like i said so now i gotta go through this this is my bedding i put it in this big suitcase because why not but hold on i'll be back okay y'all so this is my bed it is this lovely little, I guess, duvet. And obviously, it's Paris themed. Um, I got this one because my whole idea for looking for a comforter was that... Oops, my pillow is upside down. Was that I wanted something that represent me. Like, I try not to buy meaning, meaningless things. So, Paris is one of the places that I'd like to study abroad. And... I do have that option to study abroad, I believe. So Paris is just one of the places I just really like to go to. I'm not gonna say whether or not Sex and City inspired it, but I really like this cover. And you can't see it because it's up under it, but you can see like a little bit of it right here. This is um, a little throw. I got this, it's, you know, plush. I got this from Target. My, my comforter came from Walmart. I found this at Walmart uh, yesterday while before I got to the campus and it was only three dollars and I got this color because my Keurig over here ignore my trash y'all I gotta throw all that stuff away in the dumpster my Keurig is turquoise and I really wanted to incorporate that but let let me show you something else so pink and turquoise are really my colors these are just um how do you say these are what are these racks right so one has my towel on it my keys obviously we'll get into those later and then my drying towel and then this one will be for something else later my umbrella all of this right here is filled with my stuff um i feel like i don't have to go through the drawers because y'all don't need to be in my business um i'll go open my closet for y'all though Ooh, let me close this there's no light in my closet but uh my sweaters jeans and stuff Look at these cute little little hangers I got from Walmart, from Better Homes. Uh, storage containers, tennis shoes, some flip-flops, some more hangers. This is my hamper. And as you see, it's pink, which plays into, you know, the door handles, my backpack. Some more shoes. And then my little tote thing that I brought from home. Now, let me tell you something about it. this. I bought this months ago. So, I just decided to interpret turquoise with my dorm because... You see, so now I have that. I have my Keurig and then I have this thing and they all really match. This is my shower caddy up here. You see, I got my little stuff in there. Uh, my robe and my fanny pack, which I need this because I'm gonna go. And let's see what else over here. Let's see. Over here is just my desk. It's not really together right now because I have the fridge right next to it. Can't really sit down at it because the fridge is plugged up right there. But I already said that. Uh, my lamp. My little Capricorn necklace because the big Capricorn energy all year round. Uh, Tomei got this for me as a going away gift. Um, right here, it's just like my coffee cabinet, I guess you could say. My little mug right there my bracelets that I made my coffees my favorite blends when we originally first taste tested Christmas blend at Starbucks I did not like it I thought it was terrible but now I find myself I found myself leaning more towards 
a short dark rose with with a shot and some whipped cream that is heavy and some salt toppings and here got a little cup thing for my uh keurig uh, my starbucks cup i'm gonna take this with me because as i told y'all they only have hydro water so if i could find like a filter water something then i'm gonna you know take advantage of that here got my newest cup it kind of matches that right i bought that uh like a week ago and i just got this a few days on my birthday so that's my new coffee mug i bought that with my points over here is my makeup kit my taser because you may never know when you may need it you know it's small i but this whole light up the chip you know if i need to oh, damn how you make it go Ooh, 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 ooh. don't fuck with it and that's just how it is okay y'all what's next oh this is my makeup kit i got this from tomat y'all gonna see tomat just give me a lot of stuff this is my my um this is a, a perfume set that i got for christmas red door if you ain't checked it out then check it out my ring my sister gave me uh some rose some rose scent you know just in case you need to this is just some cherry blossom. Call me basic. I don't care. And then my, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Mochicino, whatever. I had to say it, but the perfume is gone, so now I only have the lotion left. Uh, up here is my books. You know, keep the Lord with me at all times. That is actually my great grandmother's Bible. It has her name on it. I thought what better place to bring it than to college so that I can stay grounded uh right here is like my box of cords my earphones are up in here all my charger things are up in here you see the thing for my macbook is in here and i got my wig here because you know your girl wear a wig but i got hat on so don't get it twisted period um my laptop my led lamp i thought that was really cute uh let's see let's see and over here is just like the clothes that I had in my suitcase. So like each drawer has like these are my pants, these are my shirt, and then these is like, you know, pajamas, you know, undergarments and all the other good stuff. On my bed, I have my little unicorn earphones that I got for Christmas from one of my peoples. Cause you know that's good for editing videos. But that is it, y'all. I will do like a here's my keys thing later, but I am about to go and see if I can get brunch and also handle some business. So I will see y'all later. Okay guys, so I got my ID. Let me show y'all. Uh, obviously, I hate taking pictures, if you don't know. So look at me, <laughs> I look like I'm fed up with this place already. So I'm trying to get my, I'm having a milk. I'm trying to get my ID on my keychain. I ain't even sure that my keys there. So let me let's get into the keys. So I got like this little poofy. Okay, it's getting caught up all of my fingernails. Hold on, hold on. A little thing that says Vicky School of Theater SFA. My dorm key and my pepper spray. Just in case anybody try to get crazy, you know, because I'm with that, you know. Shower, you like it, dog.